Welcome back to The Defiant everyone, today we're bringing you another explainer video, this time on the Stellar ecosystem. For today we'll be talking about Phoenix, which is a DeFi hub being built on through the Stellar smart contract platform Soroban. So before we dive into Phoenix and explore it ourselves, let's very quickly cover Phoenix, how it came to be, and of course Phoenix's vision within the Stellar DeFi ecosystem. Phoenix is building out a fully-fledged DeFi hub and has already launched their first product called the Phoenix Automated Market Maker, which is an AMM. The team will be building out an ecosystem of DeFi products that are designed to drive utility to their native token, which has the ticker symbol PHO. The Phoenix AMM only launched on May 3rd of this year and currently has a total value locked of $265,000 and has processed nearly $370,000 in total volume. The AMM is only the first of Phoenix's multi-product ecosystem and over the next couple of months, they plan on launching an NFT marketplace. When it is launched, Phoenix's NFT marketplace will also be powered by the PHO token and you'll be able to buy, sell, create and auction Stellar NFTs. All right, now that we have a high level understanding of Phoenix and its vision, let's go ahead and explore the Phoenix app together. We can begin by visiting their homepage at app.phoenix-hub.io. We will initially be brought to the Phoenix dashboard where we can view data like the top gainers and losers for the day, the price of PHO, and also other digital currencies. Now it is worth noting at this point that the product is still in its infancy and so currently only supports XLM, USDC, PHO and EURC. Now to get started using the app, we'll start by connecting our Stellar network based wallet. Be aware that EVM based wallets such as Metamask are not compatible, so we'll be using a Stellar native wallet such as Freighter or Xpool. From here we can choose to explore other options on the app such as their swap feature. This functions as any traditional token swap interface such as Uniswap, where you can swap from one supported token to another. On the bottom section here, we can also view swap details such as the exchange rate, protocol fees, the route our tokens will take, and slippage tolerance. Now, if you're comparing DEX fees, you may also notice that transaction fees on Phoenix are usually less than a DEX like Uniswap, for example. This makes it cheaper and faster to process lots of transactions without wasting unnecessary money on gas. Like other AMMs, Phoenix's ecosystem is reliant on liquidity pools. So if we select pools here on the left-hand side, we can take a look through all the available liquidity pools on Phoenix and see their respective TVLs, the maximum annual percentage rates which you can earn. Like other AMMs, Phoenix's ecosystem is reliant on liquidity pools. So if we select pools here on the left-hand side, we can take a look through all the available liquidity pools on Phoenix and see their respective TVLs and the maximum annual percentage rates you can earn. Whenever we provide liquidity to a pool, we will receive an LP token back. After LPing, we can choose to stake these LP tokens to earn liquidity rewards and swap fees on a pair-by-pair -pair basis. After doing so, we can see details such as the TVL, swap fee, what our total share of the LP is, our LP token balance, and any accrued liquidity mining rewards. The Phoenix app also features a trade history column and a help center, which are available on the left-hand side of the screen. The help center contains official articles that can teach you more about the Stellar and Phoenix ecosystems. So whether you're looking for information about Soroban compatible wallets, specific liquidity pools, the APR details, the help center's got you covered. Stellar's DeFi ecosystem is still in its very early days, as the Soroban smart contract only launched in March 2024. The chain's total TVL currently sits at $11 million and may continue to see an increase in interest as more developers integrate Soroban and more VCs and liquid funds begin exploring this new ecosystem. There are also many more wallets in the Stellar ecosystem with a robust user base, and as these wallets integrate with Soroban projects, we would expect an impact impact on liquidity. All right, thank you for tuning in to another Defiant Explainer. We hope you learned something valuable about Phoenix and Stellar. If you have any questions, you can of course drop a comment below. Finally, please remember to always be wary of the volatility and risks that can be present in DeFi. And as always, stay Defiant.